Hi, welcome to New Ask Science Practicals. I'm Mr Hayward and today we're going to be looking at using Universe Indicator to identify a range of solutions. So, our aim is for today is to use an indicator to decide the pH of some bottles of acid and alkalis that have lost their proper labels. We have got these here from A to F. We're also going to be inquiring by using appropriate methods during laboratory work and paying attention to health and safety. We'll also inquire by making and recording observations and data in tables. We'll analyse by interpreting observations and data. We'll also analyse and communicate by evaluating your observations and data. And finally, we'll analyse and communicate by showing an awareness of objectivity and the effect on accuracy, precision and validity of your observations. Okay, a few safety precautions to take into consideration beforehand is we need to be wearing goggles and the lab coat. We also need to take into consideration that our solutions we'll be using could be an irritant or corrosive as well, so be careful not to get them on our hands. So let's have a look at the method. The method says to use a pet to place a few drops of solution onto a watch glass. So we have our pipette here. Okay, it is a dropping pipette. You are able to measure volumes since it's graduated along the side, but it isn't very accurate. Instead of using a watch glass, we're going to be using a dropping tile so that we can compare the different solutions. Okay, so we have solution A. Using the pet, we're going to place solution A into our first part of the dropping tile. So the initial thing we're going to use, reading our method, is universal indicator paper, which looks like this. Okay. So it comes out yellow, but we'll also have a range of colours shown on the pH scale, which will tell us what type of solution this is. Okay, so now we've added that to our solution, we're going to note the colour. So if we come back to our uh, method, we've got solution A, we have pH, acid or alkali or neutral. So with the acid, alkali or neutral, we're going to guess whether it is an acid, alkali or neutral by looking at the colour. If we look at the colour, we formed a reddy orange colour on the universal indicator paper. We then look at our pH scale, and the red orange would suggest it is an acid. So the first thing we can do is identify it as an acid. It is not an alkali, and it is not neutral. We can then identify how strong the acid is. So if we look again, we've got orange, red, yellow, and gradual colours until we get to neutral, which would be green. Well. Our universe indicator paper is showing this as orangey red, so somewhere between 0 and 1. So I'm going to suggest this is a pH of 1. We're now going to use the same solution. but this time using Universe Indicator Solution. So our method tells us to add a couple of drops. We're going to add one drop since it's such a small volume of solution we're adding it to. Okay, as you can see this time, we've got the same form of colour, maybe slightly darker red. So again, maybe closer to the zero than the one. And we'll take that into consideration when recording our data. We're now going to move on to solution B.
Again, filling the dropping tile with solution B. I'm going to place a piece of universal indicator in. Hopefully you can see that this is now, again, it's a ready orange color, which I identified as an acid, but it is darker than our first one, than solution A. So I'm gonna suggest that this is a pH of zero. So again, if we come over to our sheet, I'm gonna fill this in. We believe it to be a pH of zero. Therefore, it's an acid, it is not an alkali, and it is not neutral. So we're gonna do the same thing, but using universal indicator solution this time. So refilling that tile with solution B. And again, placing a drop of universal indicator in there. As you can see, this again has indicated that it is an acid on the lower end of the pH scale. Okay, we're gonna move on to solution C. This time, I'm going to give you a chance to have a look at the pH and the colour and see what you think the acidity or alkalinity of this will be. So adding the same type of universal indicator paper. And then pause there and try and fill in for yourself the solution C section of the table. So if we have a look, I'd say this is a dark purple, approximately around 12 to 13 on the pH scale. So we'll add that to our data table. And since it's pH 12, we can see that a pH of 12 would mean it is an alkali. So it's no longer an acid, it is an alkali is not neutral. So we have three more to go. So for this one we'll also use the universe indicator solution. And again just one drop. And this gives us a dark purple. So again showing us the same conclusion as the paper but just a different form of the indicator. Now we do have different types of indicator. We have things like litmus, which will just tell us is something an acid or an alkali. And we can also make our own indicator using things like cabbage. So from now on, we're just gonna use the universal indicator paper because it's no different to the solution. So, we're moving on to solution D now. Now D is a coloured solution. This is where using a universe indicator solution could become problematic because you're using two solutions and mixing the colours. However, with the paper, we'll see a clear colour change. So again, I'm gonna take this out and let you determine where you think that solution lies on the pH scale. So if we look at the color, this is a orange, so lighter orange than our previous one. So I would put it somewhere between one and two. I'll add that to my table. So solution D, I'm gonna say it had a pH of two. Therefore it must be as an acid, it can't be an alkali, and it can't be neutral. Now, if we're looking at the pH scale, we can see that actually we have ranges that make it an acid, an alkali, or neutral. Anything from zero to six is an acid. Anything from eight to 14 is an alkali. And anything at seven is a neutral solution. So neither acidic or alkali. Let's finish with the last two solutions. We have solution E.
And again, I'm going to use the universal indicator paper to determine the colour. I'm going to put that into the dropping tile. I'm going to add some universal indicator paper to see the colour change. Now here, unfortunately, the universal indicator paper hasn't changed colour. Now if I remove the paper itself, you may see that actually the solution is left green. But the paper itself hasn't changed colour. So what I'm going to do is redo this one using universal indicator solution to see if this gives us a clearer answer. Okay, so hopefully you can see that on the camera. This is solution E. Please try and identify along the pH scale where you think this one would be. We have a green solution here. Green is neutral, so it's a pH seven where it lies between acids and alkali. So it's neither acid or alkali, it is neutral. Okay, so the water coming out of our taps, things like that should be neutral, neither acidic nor alkali. So if we come to our data table, we've got a pH of seven. It's not acid, it's not alkali, it is neutral. So we have our final solution now. Okay, so solution F, we're gonna put into the dropping tile. There's literally nothing like that for Got a dodgy pipette there, right? must have a hole in it. So solution F is going into the dropping tile. And we're going to use our universal indicator paper again, which will hopefully give us a colour this time. There we go. So I'll take that out. If you have a look, see what colour you think it is. By putting it onto the uh, laminated paper, we can see that actually it's producing a purple solution with this paper. So purple, I would suggest somewhere is in this area, so between 12 and 14. So I'm gonna put it around 13 or 14, because it's a darker purple than our previous one. If we complete our table, it's no longer an acid, but alkali, it's not neutral. Okay, so we've finished our practical now, so we need to tidy up our equipment and reagents we've been using. Well, I hope you can clean your bedroom as fast as that. Today we'll be looking at using Universe Indicator to identify different solutions of acids and alkalis. I am Mr Hayward. Thank you for watching New Ask Practical Science. See you next time.